Hi, this is Simply Imaginary People Frankie, and I got asked to make a small tutorial just on how to add new overlays to objects that don't have an overlay. So I'm just going to be boring and use an EA object, but you can obviously import whatever you want to use. Let's see, maybe take a living room chair. Decides to load. <laughs> oh, crash on me. Okay, let's take, for example, this chair, this is a good example chair. Okay, so you've got this chair, and you've got this really cool pattern you want to use for this area. So you can go to textures and you can see it doesn't have an overlay. And you're just going to export the multiplier. I usually like to export these as PNG to wherever, and you can open it in Photoshop. Right now I look at this and I find it kind of hard to tell you which parts exactly are this part, but I can kind of see by this mask here. So this mask has two channels, red and green. So Red is always the first channel, and green is the second channel, or yellow, whatever the color is. So I know all the areas that have this red are the ones I need to recolor. So what I'm also going to do is I'm going to export this as whatever and open it in Photoshop. And I'm just going to say duplicate layer, and I'm going to stick it over here so I can see which area. And now I'm just going to open my kick-ass pattern that I want to use. Right, let's say, I don't know. I've got a shitload of patterns. Let's say this one. I'm going to copy it over to here, scale it down because it's way too big, and just start to like cover the red area. Mine seamless, thank god. Right here. Not that seamless, but hey, for example. Okay, now I'm going to merge all these layers into one. And then I'm just going to, oops, I'm in the wrong one. Oops. Pretend I did this in the right file. Right, so I've got my three layers, my overlay, the mask, and the multiplier. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the layer that has the mask. I'm going to use the magic tool to select only the red area, like this. Go back to my layer, select inverse, delete so that I have it covering exactly the mask area, and then I'm going to turn off the other two layers, and I'm going to save this as a DDS file. Call it overlay. Save it as a DDS. Go back to your file here. Go into overlay, edit, import, and import your DDS file. Where the hell did I save that? There we go. Don't know why it has that on the top. Maybe it's a stencil. Yep. Turn off the white stencil. And there we go. We've got a nicely recolored chair. 
So that's pretty much how you just add a new overlay to an object for a certain part. Sometimes it's not that easy that the mask has the correct part highlighted. Sometimes you've got to fiddle around and figure out where on your multiplier or mask your bit is that you have to cover and make sure you don't cover other pieces. But that really just depends on object to object. Okay.